The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Are we walking? Could you imagine how brutal that would be? 100 plus degrees, no water, no food. Man. Ugh. Please don't tell me we're gonna have snakes like in the Stranded Deep series. Got a casino up ahead. Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. 22 miles ahead, that's a long way. It's a marathon, pretty much. <sighs> Shit, I need a break. <sighs> Might be some shade at the next billboard. Is there nobody we could hitchhike off of? Then again, we don't really want want people to see us. Us and our brother are probably gonna be wanted everywhere. Blasted all over the news and TV and stuff. Just nothingness, dude. Nothingness for miles. Yes. Just trying to make it to some shade. Indeed. Bet this would feel so good. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. It feels like hiking in hell. Got a little bit of water we can drink. Not Shit. a lot, but... My throat feels like sand. It'll help. Dude, look at the sweat on us, man. We could draw if we wanted to. I don't know that I'm gonna draw though, dude. I, I feel like we need to get up and we need to get going. Longer we spend out here, the more trouble we're gonna be in. Can't overwork ourselves, but we're trying to get back to Daniel and, and not get caught here. Sitting around on the side of the road is not a good idea for a wanted felon. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Yeah, you couldn't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. The thing is, is he's our, our last family on Earth, you know what I mean? Like true, like close family. <sighs> I can't imagine how hard this would be. Hope I'm not running into a trap or something. Uh, I didn't even oh, think about shit, that, but that's... Coming. That's possible. Stick your thumb out. Stick your thumb out. Whoa. Excuse me, sir. Is he honking at me? He's stopping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just... See what he wants. I was totally stuck on that little stick back there. <laughs> My bad. What a nice guy to be able to stop for us. I feel like most people would just go flying on by. Truckers can't be cops. Right. Yeah. Hello, good sir. Are your hey, legs tired? Need a lift? From running through my mind all day? It's too damn hot to be walking. 
Absolutely, dude. Hopefully yeah. he's not. Thanks. And up. Little boys, but might be worth it not to have to walk. Take the risk, you know what I mean? I always thought it'd be cool to be a trucker. Obviously, you don't make a ton of money. It's crappy hours, and it'd be a hard life. I thought it, like, it would be cool to drive and live and, you know what I mean? I always thought that part of it would be fun. I think I paid a little bit better. Obviously, I'd be good. I think some make pretty good money, though. You're just gone all the time. Yeah, you look like shit. <laughs> You're I okay? It's, uh, it's, it's gone, no. sir. It's gone. Hmm, okay. Tough shit. Hey, Anton, you there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh, I had to make a shit stop. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Too much information, but 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. Is it against the law to pick up hitchhikers? So... You hungry or what? You look hungry. Hell yeah, I'm hungry. I'll take that all day. <sighs> I am. You gotta get it while you can, As man. You heard. My name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. He seems <laughs> like a good guy. Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. Kind of a weird name for a big white trucker, dude. Anton? I don't feel like it fits. What's your destination? Hmm... Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Well, that's good to know. Because <laughs> this silence Just is pretty awkward. Boring trucker. Does a person with one eye close both eyes to take a nap? That's a good question. Can't believe this dude picked us up, we ate his sandwich, and then we took a nap in his front seat. Hopefully, it's not a recipe for disaster. Looks like we're good. Last stop, even point. Thank you so much. Just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. 10-4, good buddy. Thank you, sir. Sorry you had the runs and had to make two shit stops within an hour of each other. So this town is known as being weird. 
Huh. Looks like it's very religious, to say the least. Get it all out. That's it. <laughs> You okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. <laughs> Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Caught Sorry, the devil there, right out of her! Sir. Can I help you? Um... Uh, I think so. Yeah, uh... You here for the service? Uh... Yeah. I... I am. But it's my first time. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Uh, what miracle? Huh. You haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. He'll be here any minute now. Don't Just tell me that's Daniel. See for yourself. Praise the Lord. Only miracle I can think of is Daniel using that his powers. Girl. Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. We are in trouble. Can you feel it? So I'm not the only one. This is the Reverend. Amen to that. We are surrounded by false idols. A society run by greed and technology. Do you think we're any Oh, shit. I will draw too much attention. Better try upstairs. Gonna watch from above? Faith. We hear that word a lot. But faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh, no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Amen. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do we see him? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then, he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, he did. An angel. A child graced with the It's power Daniel, of God. dude. Are you serious? The miracle we have all been praying for. Waiting for. What has he been Can up I to? Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member. And our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Praise you, Are you freaking kidding me right now? So he's like the. Here is Daniel. The centerpiece of this weird culty. Was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God Religious saved town. Daniel so he could do his work. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. 
Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, Praise to guide me. us from the wilderness Praise to our God. destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. Look at that stupid haircut he has. The problem is, I bet Daniel loves the attention. I bet he loves this. I bet he's eating this up. With your own eyes. Now we have a voice. A messenger. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. Praise you, Daniel. Praise you, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Where'd you get all that power from? As our from? Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> this is not good. I... <sighs> How are we gonna talk to him? And when we talk to him, how are we going to talk some sense into him? He's being treated like a god. Of course he's not going to want to give that up. You know what I mean? Hi. Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <sighs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, no. Sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. <coughs> hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Hello, Sarah Lee. My name is Sean. Good to meet you. By the way, can I ask you, you something? You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Uh, yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. If she's that sick, why is she not in the hospital? Like, she... It doesn't sound like a normal sickness. What a scam, dude. They're using Daniel to sell donations and stuff. Daniel. You're the living proof of their faith, and mine. I know you understand. 
I guess, I mean, Sean? Oh, my. Sean! You came back! I knew it! She's not You're gonna be happy. Up, I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have... It's okay. Does it... hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. <laughs> Shut up. I was roasting it's that different. too. I kinda like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. I knew it. Look! One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. Get your grimy By hands way, off my brother! My name is Elizabeth Fisher. Heck no, we I ain't shaking that hand. for your safe return. No, you Sean, didn't. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Well... Not really. No. So Daniel was wrong? Hmm. You can be honest here, Sean. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. He calls Hold her on. mother? Well, Sean. Reverend Mother? It's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. No. Absolutely not. I'm leaving here. With Daniel. Yes. Yes, I know about this reckless journey. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Mark 3, 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I've heard everything about your journey, Sean. And I cannot let a sinner like you into my community. Not until you make penance. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? She what did faked you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean! What happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never Goes Dude, out. I'm getting I so angry here, right now. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. I want to stay. 
Just go. <laughs> There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? <clears throat> Daniel! <coughs> Let me go, asshole! <laughs> Look Daniel! at this little girl, she's not dying! Your family. Stop it! You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean! Sean. Daniel! <sighs> there you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! I'm getting up. Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. Oh! Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just want my brother but he doesn't want you he was brought here and this is where he's staying next time i will not hesitate to use this now get out of here daniel hey daniel sean Karen? You won't get him back like this. Let's go. Dude, I'm so upset. It's so clear what's happening here. <laughs> he's crappy. Like, he's. <laughs> What kind of, I don't even know what his title would be. Is he a priest or what? what kind of dude's toting around a gun in a church? You know what I mean? Like, this is unreal. And Daniel fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing and that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're going to have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. I mean, shout out to Jacob. He got us back with our mom. That's more than we could do at any other time. I guess that's, I mean, meeting up with her is a pretty big deal. I'm just really upset about the Daniel situation. But at least we're not, uh, We're not riding solo anymore. We do have somebody in our corner. I don't trust people who face the shower head, dude. That's weird. Please don't tell me any of you guys do. If you don't have it hitting your back, you can't be trusted. Some fresh clothes on, all right. Man, didn't clean the pain away, but that felt good. Hmm. 
Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's miracles? Take a look at the note she left us. Be right back. We'll find out. Pop down for some supplies or grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks or shorts to the bathroom, all yours if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number's on the letter he sent. Be right back. So we've got Jacob's letter here. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. 775-555-0118. Let's head on over to the phone. Let's call Jacob. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait. I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Is he on the inside? He might be on the inside. Like, is he a part of this family or the, a part of the church or something uh, like let's that? Let's just rest while I wait for her. He obviously knows if something's going back. on. So we're just going to wait. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Altar boys don't fight fair? Yeah, I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion, right? That'll do. <laughs> Not gonna turn that down. That sounds pretty good right about now. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean. I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple of years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Dad taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why, if you care. So ask me anything. This would be a tough conversation to have. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife, or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I was unhappy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. 
You fell in love, you made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. <laughs> Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. <laughs> yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. I mean, I you did. Had one life, and I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I understand where she's coming from, but I, I disagree. I, I think, you know, it may not be, have been her perfect situation, but she made choices. She has to deal with those responsibilities. You don't just walk, walk out on your family. I'm not. We were a real family without you. Well, Esteban was meant to be a father. I knew he would take care of you the way you deserve. Except he's dead. We've got no one left. It's tough. You don't walk out in your kids, though. I don't, I don't care what it is. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just... Get it all out in the open. See what happens. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. <laughs> or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. <laughs> it does to a lot of people. He's got a good point. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. See, I, I think that's so messed up. Plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. 
I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. But don't Family, leave your kids in religion, doing so. Social norms. That's it's just okay. all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. At least she's real enough to admit it, you know what I mean? How I will give her that. you peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. I gotta give that... I gotta give that to her. <sighs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. It's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. I mean, this is a great bonding moment. Hey, um... Mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. <laughs> She's got a full pack, that's not a few. Wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Your dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. I mean, at least oh, we're coming right. to terms with it. Like, this is beautiful. Moment. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but. When we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And then we'd just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend, Lila. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. It's a good point. I think it's time to go back we inside, go back though. Inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Nice. Better take care of the eye. So we're going like so full spy mission. you need any help with that? 
walkie-talkies and everything. Yes. Thanks. So... you feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Oh, that would be so gross, dude. Ugh. <laughs> Got the saline solution on there, then we're gonna go with the cream for step two. Step three is a new goss bandage. Oh, dude, that that hurts my eye just thinking about. Here, try this on. <laughs> oh, she got me an eye patch. No way, dude. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. 